Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with Mrs. Beth Podarski and Ms. Ann Cullen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from them later on the show. Good morning once again, and welcome to the Falcon Report for this Friday, the 13th of May, 2022. A day one. I'm Ariana Miranda. And I'm Camila Padilla. May 1st marked National College Decision Day, and South seniors showed off their choices last week. Syed Ali was on the scene. That's right. Last week, seniors at South celebrated where they will be this fall. After a long season of writing and preparing applications, with yet another grueling few months of waiting for decisions, seniors were finally able to celebrate their future schools. Last Friday, seniors headed into school completely covered in merch from the schools they committed to, which popularly featured t-shirts, some arts and crafts, and even a banner. V4 Vanderbilt. The soon-to-be college students flexed their apparel throughout the entirety of the day, including the classroom. Immediately after ninth period, the class of 2022 flooded the senior hallways to give one final hurrah, celebrating their commitments one final time. For the Falcon Report, I'm Saeed Ali. These past two weeks have been quite the test for the select students as AP exams were in full swing. Following a period of extensive review and study sessions, students for the past two weeks took their assessments in their predetermined designated rooms, including the school library and computer lab to name a few. To assist those taking the exigent test in person, Ms. Jacqueline Allen has used Microsoft Teams for constant communication in order to post reminders, as well as to confirm testing rooms and dates for each student. As APs continue into next week, it's clear that South students are prepared and ready to complete the end of the year exams with success. Good luck to all AP students testing next week. Before the start of the AP exam, South celebrated Earth Week through a variety of activities. The events of Earth Week were largely spearheaded by the members of Science Honor Society. Under the supervision of Miss Elena Garces, South students were greeted on Monday morning to the sounds of animals throughout the day over the loudspeaker. <laughs> This event was part of the competition where, if students were able to identify all the animals that made the sounds, they would receive a prize. To further raise awareness for the environment, the Science Honor Society found yet another creative outlet, origami. In South Hall, students of all grades were instructed on how to construct origami figures and had some fun with their crafts. The final event to Earth Week was a community walk, which featured a joint activity between the Science Honor Society and Project Green. Members walked down Jedwood and to the pathway along the creek, taking in all the natural greenery before heading back to school. All these events were done to raise awareness for Earth Day and the importance of preserving our environment. When the FACOM report returns, we'll learn more about the supermarket sweeps. But first, a bird's eye view of busy buses leaving south. The FACOM report will be right back. Attention Key Club members! Your Key Club service log is due May 20th. A minimum of 30 credits are required in order for Key Club to appear on your transcript. A copy of the service log can be found outside of room 215 and signatures can be obtained from the President, Vice President or Mrs. Gordon. If you have issues with the deadline, reach out to the Key Club offices for help. There's still time for more credits. Here's your ticket. Thank you. Hey, kid. I got some cheap tickets over there by my table. Come and get some. I'll pass. So how much you selling for? 20 bucks. I only got a quarter. Take it. You can go home. This is fake. Well, he gave it to me. Hey! hey.
lifted in the air. In the infield. Derek Jeter waiting, waiting, waiting. Makes the catch. A no hitter for Dwight Gooden. Known for his 1996 no-hitter as a Yankee against the Mariners and his 10 dominating seasons pitching for the Mets, Doc Gooden has surely achieved much success. Next Friday, come hear the former New York baseball star speak at Central's Auditorium. The bus leaves south at 2.15 p.m. Reserve your spots in advance by filling out the form on Teams. Aproxia Awareness Day is coming up soon. The Falcon Report's Emily Nosturf had the chance to talk to Miss Ann Cullen and Miss Beth Sodarski to learn more about the day. Emily? I'm joined now with Ms. Cullen, our school's speech and language pathologist. So what exactly is apraxia of speech? Okay, so there's childhood apraxia of speech, which is a very rare um, disorder. And what happens is a child will know what they want to say, but they can't get it from your, the, the brain to their articulators. And what is the goal of Apraxia Awareness Day? The goal is to build awareness within the community, um, to make people... Uh, understand that sometimes when people cannot produce a sound or a word or a sentence to just be patient and understand that it could be something as severe as apraxia um, give them time to speak uh, to make others aware that there are um, people out there that have difficulty with communicating um, you might not see it you might not be able to understand why or how they're happening and what can the South community do to support those with apraxia of speech or other speech disorders? Well, the best thing would be to be inclusive and to uh, treat uh, students that are different from them as if they were the same, um, and also to be patient. Uh, do their best to be sensitive to those with apraxia of speech um, and any speech disorder by being patient with them. I also work with students who stutter or students who have um, articulation disorders, um, pragmatic language disorders. Um, you know, it runs the gamut. Uh, here, though, mostly at the high school, it's language based. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, we can all help spread awareness. Back to you. It might have taken a little longer than normal, but nevertheless, spring weather has arrived. What's to come this weekend, you may ask? Eric Brown tells us just that. Eric? This weekend will be characterized with the spring temperatures, but wet weather. Today we'll have a couple of showers with degrees ranging between 59 to 69 degrees. We'll see the trends follow into tomorrow, but with more humidity. These patterns will reverse for Sunday afternoon. It'll be sunny with the temperature hitting the 70 degree mark. However, for the night, it'll return back to 59 with an evening shower. Enjoy the spring weather and back to you. A wholesome week of celebration as spring sports teams celebrated their senior athletes at home. Elena Trasinski joins the show with the details. Elena? That's right. The girls softball team has had an incredible season this year with their 13-2 record putting them on top of their conference by far. The team wrapped up two more wins at the start of this week against Malvern on Monday and Westbury on Tuesday. Tuesday was also senior day and coaches Adratis' honorees did not disappoint in the game that followed. Senior Isabella Quinones went 3-4-4 four, four with two doubles and four runs. Senior Day saw five graduating Falcons combine to lead their team to a 25-6 win over Westbury. Senior Liz Trail ignited the Falcons' offense with a double that drove in two runs in the first inning. <laughs> Senior Caitlin Van Etten did not make an out in any of her five play appearances, hitting two doubles and scoring four runs. Alyssa Bahador recorded her first career hit, and Elise Fasar picked up the victory in the pitching circle. Not bad for the old ladies, as the Falcons finished undefeated at home this season. The badminton team also had their senior game this week. This year's squad was led by team captain, first singles player, Nor Baig, who won over 80% of the team's points for the season. And she put in a strong performance against Plainview and Old Beth Page as well. Also honored were seniors Julia Valdez, Madison Norcott, Leanna Ferguson, and Kelly Lynn. The Falcons ended this year's campaign exactly at 500 with six overall wins and six losses and two team members are heading to counties with doubles pairing Levani Dindile and Madison Norcott representing South. And that's sports. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. For Camila Padilla, I'm Ariana Miranda. 
Have a great weekend, South.